Γεια σα and hello, I'm Darth Leon and this is Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the last episode we finished Turnabout Goodbyes here, the final um, case of the original game of in Game Boy and in this episode we are actually going to... Hello? Hello? Yeah? Oops, I didn't click on the thing. Anyway, so we're going to play Rise of From the Ashes, which is actually something that Phoenix does. That is the only case in any game that doesn't have turnabout in it. Yep. So this is actually very, very nice. Uh, if you somehow have a version of the original Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, which you shouldn't if you can speak my language. No, actually, well, if you're from Japan, you could obviously, but if you somehow have a Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney game that's actually finished, you can actually plug it in on your uh, DS, your original or your light. I believe we call them fat nowadays, but anyway, uh, you get directly to Rise from the Ashes, no need to actually finish any of the previous ones. So, well, here you can see the picture which is actually one from Karma manipulating Edgeworth. Which looks very nice, and also there's a lot of there, but we can barely see here. Uh, so, yeah, this is actually the only case that's been done for the DS until Apollo Justice, and we are going actually to see a lot of evidence of that. So, let's start off. It's been two months since Maya left the office. Two months without a single trial. I've had offers, but none I took. That is, until the day that girl showed up. Actually, I need a second. No, no. That's, is that louder or is it? No, I think it's actually quieter. That's awesome. Uh, why do I come here <laughs> to the office every day? Sound like I want to work. There you are, finally! Where have you been? My sister's trial is tomorrow. Well, it's... To the girl here. You can actually see her in the new picture instead of Maya. Thank you, Metax, for this awesome new picture. So, um... Who are you? Doesn't matter who I am, but it matters who you are. You're the famous defense attorney, Mia F uh, Yes, yes. I'm Mia Fey. Oh, uh, you're not Mia Fey, are you? Clearly not. I'm sorry, but Mrs. Mia Fey is no longer works here or anywhere. That's her soul. So you are the coffee boy? Phoenix Wright, the defense attorney. Right, right. Wait! You're the Phoenix Wright? The Phoenix Wright from the Edgeworth, Mer Edgeworth murder case? Um, yeah, that's correct. It wasn't Edgeworth who, murder who was murdered, though. Yep. That's a relief then. You're better than nobody. I'm sorry, I'm afraid I'm not taking cases right now. But you are Phoenix right? right? The individual the defense attorney? Well, three, but... Look, I'm not accepting any cases. Sorry, but you'll have to try elsewhere. Please! I'm out of time. But... Please, you have to help. It's my sister. Oh, great. <laughs> Maya? Could it be? Okay, I'll hear you out. Really? Thank you so much. My name is Emma, Emma Sky. I'm a scientific investigator. Scientific investigator? 
Okay, that's a little bit too much. So, welcome to... <sighs> to a very, very annoying case. It's not Emma, it's not Emma. So, while we're talking with Emma, I'm going to talk over here for a little while. I really, really, really don't like this case. It suffers from the Capcom syndrome of last levels or something or other. I do not fully remember the term. So what that means is Capcom, Capcom always does some shit and always the last level is too fucking long. Too fucking long. I'm, I'm not even kidding. Like Mega Man games, you have to defeat all the bosses in a row before you get to the final boss, boss and other things like that. And it's fine that I mentioned Mega Man because that's going to actually be my next let's play. I'm going to talk about this after the end of this case. So, um, yeah, the final level is always way too long. It's like one third of the game. I'm not even kidding you. So, this case suffers from the same thing. I have 15 pages of notes. I'm not even kidding. 15 pages of notes. I went. The only thing I've been playing for the last couple of days is this fucking case so that I can actually get everything that's important. And oh god, especially the second day of the investigation. Yeah, the second day of the investigation. You have to talk with everyone about everything and ask them. And, the, and you know, while this is the thing that always takes more time investigation. Well, trials are pretty fucking long too, because you have to press everything and occasionally they will actually not unlock certain statements and stuff. It's, it's a fucking headache, it's really a blur. I really really do not enjoy this. While they've really gone out to get some good exam, exam some good stuff in it, they really break it, unfortunately, because it's too fucking long. As I said, 15 pages of um, notes. And now I'm already on 7th minute and I'm still on the first scene of the thing. Uh, also, this is a super fucking complicated case, so good luck remembering everything. There are like 15,000 clues, good luck on remembering everything in them. There are some very very stupid traps. Good luck about the <laughs> remembering, uh, not not remembering. Actually, the first time I played this case through, I was stuck on something. I'm going to point it out later on for three hours. Not even kidding. So, with that said and done, we have Emma Sky in front of us. She has a lot of. Um, common things, uh, her character design has a lot, of, a lot of common things with the... Uh, with Maya, oh, I'm sorry, uh, because, well, they want you to feel the same way about her, but she is a lot more useful, actually, in investigation, not just someone near. And she is going to accompany us on this case. And well, actually, when she gets like she is now, kind of hate her. Yeah, we are going to to do a lot of things. Actually, I shouldn't have just jumped on the, the thing. Uh, yeah, she also has no parents like uh, Maya and Mia. And well, everything is uh, everything in here is Mia. Mia, this is Maya. Like even here, are quite a lot like them. But well, there are different traits, so that you don't get them confused. So also the detention center and talk to Lana. Hmm. I wonder what's wrong with Emma. She's go she got quite all of a sudden. She, go she got quite. Qu fuck this. Guard, I thought I told you I didn't want the visitors. S sorry, ma'am. It's just your sister. Oh, I'm sorry. No excuses. Or did you not? Uh, or did you not want a race this year? Hmm. <laughs> Understood, ma'am. 
What was that all about? Uh, hi, Lana. Fun. I seem to, rem uh, to remember specifically telling you not to come here. Perhaps my memory is failing? Look, I don't want to come here either, okay? But your travels tomorrow when I still and you still don't have a defense attorney. I'll be the one in court tomorrow. You have nothing to do, this has nothing to do with you, Emma. Isn't that right, Mr. Wright? Hey, how do you know me? Oh come on. Mia mentioned you, I've heard. Quite a bit. Um sorry, what exactly is that you do? My name is Lana, Lana Sky. And chief prosecutor for this district. You're a prosecutor? Not just any prosecutor, she's the chief prosecutor. Two sisters, one a lawyer. Could this be coincidence? No, no, it's not actually. No, not at all. <laughs> Emma, Lana, I mean, they're, they're just like. Yeah, that's actually the point of this whole case. Is something wrong, Mr. Wright? Well. Let's go ahead and talk to her about stuff. There's something you should know from the start. Which is? The suspect in this, in this case has confessed to the crime. Huh? Wait, but the suspect... The suspect is... Me. I did it. Well, Mr. Wright? Well... Why don't you begin by telling me exactly what happened? Camp took place yesterday, February 21st, at 5.15. That's quite specific. It was in the witness disposition. The witness clearly saw me committing the crime. Ah. The crime took place in the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the truck by my sub uh, of my sub uh, sub subordinate's car. The prosecutor's office, huh? In your sub sub uh, understudy. <laughs> I was arrested at the spot, caught red-handed as it were. My my. Huh. Very very interesting. So, who was the victim? An investigator with uh, the police department. I suppose the correct term is detective. A detective? Death was due to a loss of blood. He was stabbed once in the stomach. By you? That wasn't immediate, but the wound was fatal. I see. Allow me to repeat myself, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective. You know what that means, don't you? Uh oh. What, Mr. Wright? What does it mean? Well, it means the police department will consider it a matter of pride to have me found guilty. They would use any means at their disposal to do so. <laughs> this case gets worse and worse with everything I learn. Yep. So let's learn more about her. So you're the chief prosecutor? That is correct. I'm responsible for overseeing every trial held by prosecutors in this dis district. I make sure the prosecutors have what they need to do the job and manage every aspect. The, those are my responsibilities in an axle. That's an awfully large muscle. Well, still, I'm a little surprised. I think. I would think you'd recognize the district chief prosecutor, Mr. Wright. Huh? In fact, it seems impossible you wouldn't. Um, Lana? What happened to your hand? Oh, this? Yep, that's actually... something. I got myself by accident when I stabbed him, that is. Huh? Not very good at being a criminal, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. How am I supposed to defend this? Time me to change the subject. Wait. She wasn't the class ahead of Mia, wasn't she? Well, well not, that was a great reading, Leonida. Maybe you should take up acting. <laughs> um, you were in school with Mia, correct? A few years above her? Emma told you that too, huh? W why not? I did drag him all the way here from his office. Although it seems he has very little in common with Mia. Hey! It was a low, it was in low school. I was my third year and she was auditing the class, okay? She was different than the other students. Different? She was strong. She'd do anything to become a defense attorney. Anything. So she fucked the person. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry that was a bad joke. Sorry to speak ill of that, especially with Mia. I actually quite like her. 
that was probably why she was attracted to me. Uh, intellectually attracted. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to accept this. I was the best there was. Oh. I'm doing pretty good in school too, by the way. Sounds a bit different when Emma says it. <laughs> yeah, quite a lot. Well, Mr. Wright? Uh, excuse me? As you can plainly see, I'm admitting my guilt. I think it's safe to say there's no way you can take this case. None. B but Lana... You... You were always this way, weren't you? You never think of anyone but yourself. I know you didn't do it, Lana. I know! So... How can you say you did? If I lose you... I'll be all alone. I... I said you, Lana! Oh, this... this will not bite you in the ass, Emma. I'm... I'm sure of it. Mr. Wright? Yes? Believe our discussion here is ended. The rest... I leave it to you. Um, you mean you're requesting my services as your defense? Don't lose any sleep over it. Your client has confessed after all. The case is over. Right, I'll do what I can to get to the bottom of this. Quite good at getting to the bottom of things. I've solved a case that was like 15 years old. Lana has confessed to the crime, yes. But something doesn't fit. It's that look in Emma's eyes. What do you mean? There's something else going on here, and I'm going to find out what. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. Huh? About what? My sister, she's not always like that, you know. Only when she's accused of murder. I just never expected to be defending another prosecutor again. She's changed a lot. She used to be so gentle, always smiling. Everybody liked her. I see. Sorry, but I'm having trouble imagining that. Well, actually, she's quite a nice person. What happened to her? I don't know for certain myself. I think maybe she... well, maybe not. Oh, that I do not want to happen. Well, it's actually the first time for a very, very long time. The first time in... Super Mario. Yeah, Super, Super Mario in Luigi. Uh, that I'm actually on my bed. And I have the whole thing very, very carefully done, so... My... My computer doesn't go right and left. Actually, my desk is full of shit right now, and I can't do a recording there. So... Let's move on to the next place, which is the underground parking lot. There's nothing else to do here, so... Well... The yeah, parking lot. Here we are. So this is the lot where it all happened. Looks like they're still investigating. Funny, that is my first vision to the, to the prosecutor's office should be like this. Hey everyone, keep up the good work. Hey, what are you thinking? Well, they are going to be my co-workers three years from now, after, after all. No harm in saying hello. Actually, there is. You know, I turn some supposed examining crime scenes. Trying not to stand down too much here, see? Yeah, especially with the blue uh, tuxedo and the spiky hair. Hey there. You're spending to go on this here, partner? P partner? What do we have here? Looking like a bina got loose from the ranch and is no good. All good of land to keep the doggies tied down, partner. M Mr. Marshall? Marshall? Looks more like a serf to me. Yeah, very bad joke actually. Looky here, Bambina. I know how you feel. But this is man my gang's goal strike, see? Strike? This is our claim, our territory. And the gold mine is evidence. If you're fixing to mess with, watch out. You'll regret it, partner. You know uh, what dreams the cacti out in. What? <laughs> yeah, that's my, my thing precisely. You head on long home now. Happy dress, Bambina. He is out of his mind. Was that um hombre? <laughs> hombre? A friend of yours? Um, kind of, sort of. Yeah, he's a detective. 
who thinks he's a sheriff? <laughs> who thinks he's a sheriff from the Wild West? It seems. Well, not bad. I wonder, is this a step ladder or is it just ladder? Haha, a ladder. Um, that's a step ladder. No, actually, I was right. What's the difference? In scientific terms, please. Scientific, huh? Look at the basic nature of things, Mr. Right. This all seems so horrible for me to somehow. <laughs> yep. I'm sorry, I wasn't going to let this joke go to waste. So, let's start by cutting this. What's this? What? Um, excuse me, officer. Wait, what are you doing, Mr. Right? Uh, what am I doing? I just found this wall, so I'm holding it to the police. Don't believe it. This is real basic. Anything at the crime scene is evidence. Let's be scientific about this, please. Just put it in your pocket. Yeah, really scientific. <laughs> okay. Uh, here, I'll teach you the trick to examining evidence in detail, okay? By the way, your rice are sparkling. I can tell she's been waiting for it. Okay, okay, now. Look at the court record. Okay. And n I have no control over this. You have to be sure to examine evidence carefully by all on all sides. Now, let's start examining from every angle. Um, I'm sorry, it appears that, no, uh, oh, here we go, uh, and yeah, I believe that it, it no longer have a meaning to actually have, I will have to start using the thing. So this is what I've been saying, that they have a lot of things about the, yeah, shoes for a second, they have a lot of things about the DS and I just let down my trusty joypad that then I'm using the, the the mouse of my computer. So yeah, by using these things here you move well the evidence in this axis, the X axis, and by using the down the lower thing, you move it in the Y axis. And by using actual Y, surprisingly enough, you actually zoom in and zoom out. Really simple, really? And you choose and examine something. This this is an ID card. Detective Bruce Goodman, ID number X or something. See? Well, isn't scientific investigation useful? I uh, guess, though I don't see what science has to do with it. <laughs> yeah, actually, absolutely nothing. Okay, so now we have the Goodman's ID here, which is actually very, very important. Let's be sure to examine every piece of evidence we find. I guess I've got to be on my toes from now on. And let me check something. Yeah, I believe I can check it further. So... Well, you can see a very, very nice thing here. And let's check the back. Oh, look, this is, well, his code. So this is the bug of the badge, uh, oh, so this is what the back of the badge looks like. And I've always thought it was just safe pin. Each badge has a number carved in it. By the way, you can tell which attorney be it belongs to. You mean you couldn't lend your badge to anyone? No, I'd be found out the right away. Well, that's no fun. Yeah, sure, you have a very, very strange definition of fun, but yeah, let's keep on doing things. So, let's start by examining this big sign of security on the top of the screen. So, here we go. Look, a stylish, a stylish glass wall to room. Very nice. You could see the whole parking lot from in there. It says security. Perhaps it's a cafe? Yeah, the cafe, named security. <laughs> Huh? Cafe security. Yeah, that must be it. Let's check it out later. Um, I hate to break it to you, but I think that's probably just a security guard station. <laughs> you know, I scored a 97 on my sign test the other day. Too bad I don't have a test for common sense. Yep, a lot of people would actually fail this one. So, let's check this yellow thing here. Well, no time to waste. Let's get hunting for clues. Hmm, I wonder what this is. Well, partner, looks like you got no intention to go home quietly. 
the sheriff. Like I said before, this here's our plan. You'd best be mozing along, unless you're fixing to bite the bullet. Huh? Could you just tell us one thing? Who owns this car? Well, well, the little Phyllis got a good nose on her. You want to know who rides the rest red manstack with the body in his saddle? Um... No problem, partner. About time to vit for vittles anyway. Get yourself to the saloon on the 12th floor of the prosecutor's office. Might you just find... What? Might you just find your car vessel you like? Prosecutor's office? Where does this guy think he is? And when for that matter? Not to self, look up Vittles Salon Cerveza. <laughs> yeah, sure. I actually know what the salon is, but about that. In any case, stay away from my car. From my car, from the car. You can look around here all you like, just keep your pose off the uh, plane. Right, great. So. Great, maybe there are some clues around here. Let's check it out. Excuse me? Where, uh, where you two? What? what? Us? <laughs> What's this? It's gonna be. You're selling lunches here? This is a crime scene. Hello, Kevin Hub, was it? Oh, um, thanks. And you, sir? Yes? Some crunchy goodness coming at you. Um, thanks. It's the interesting way of doing business is. <laughs> this area is off limit to anyone without clearance. Especially passersby. Or are you officers? Um, no, but you, you don't exactly look like the type of clearance. Well, that's hardly a way to greet someone. Even if in my days, the, uh, as the cough up queen are over. Cough up? Huh? You know, I'm feeling kind of full. Maybe I'll pass on the lunch. I'm quite connected to the case, you see? The images you burn, uh, the images are burnt into my eyes, you might say. Yes, all the sordid secrets. What? Dear me, you are slow, a slow one, aren't you? Oh my god, she's completely changed. I'm referring to the murder, the stabbing of the detective. What? The witness clearly saw me committing the crime. Well, well, you mean you're the witness my sister was talking about? Please, cough up Queen, tell us what happened. The name is Angel Star. Don't you go forgetting it. Or before you know it, I'll have you whimpering at my heels. Y yes, ma'am? <laughs> yes, she probably does. But really, she's just a pushover. She's going to be a very hard witness, though. So, let's start by talking about things. The case! Somehow, I knew it. Huh? Yesterday was the day of destiny. I knew some... Sorry? Just like I know uh, that the daily special on Friday, every week is salmon. Destiny was destiny special for some reason. Your defense attorney, right? You should know them. You should know the filed misdeeds of the evil ones who haunt their den of inequity. What? Prosecutors, they have no qualms about blanketing the name of innocence. Yesterday they paid homage to the most evil one of all. They gave an award for king of prosecutors. What a farce! So she's saying there was some sort of prosecutors convention yesterday? I would like to go there. I was almost compelled to lace their lances with something foul. Do you have a personal grievance against prosecutors or something? Or is there some kind of scientific evidence of this, um, evil? Young miss, mock me at your own risk. You'll soon find out why they call me Cough Up Queen. Uh, the most genius of all the evil ones, the one they awarded yesterday. It was in his car they found the body. Proof that he devours the evilest lances of them all. <sighs> you and your fighting lances. Really? Really what? I'm totally confused. One thing's clear, this landlady has a thing against prosecutors. 
well... So what exactly was it that you witnessed, Mrs. Star? It was a fascinating spectacle. I now feel I know what they say when they uh, talk about a woman's wrath. Pardon me, period. To see Lana Sky wield that knife so... He and I flashed in anger, bringing him to a sad end. It was truly a sight to see. You mean you saw the very moment of the crime? The sound of his silvery tie. <laughs> Next? And the rhythmic beat of Lana Sky's knife. Next? No, I'm just kidding. Wait a second, you know Lana Sky? <laughs> of course. It's quite a feat become chief prosecutor. How many lunchboxes of sin did she pack to make that journey, I wonder? She always travels light. Now, why would this pretty lunch lady know the chief prosecutor's name? Well, because she's not an educated like you, maybe, right? Um, could we ask a little about, uh, little about a bit about uh, yourself, Miss Star? I come here every day to sell lunches. I import only the freshest and best from the forest. Forest? I mean, I mean, you're supposed to be in Japan. I wonder what the title is called. That that line says in Japanese. From some reason, the box lunches are a hit here. Why not make lunches here rather than import them? Did you say something? No, no, um, only two connoisseurs can understand, and my nose just just plugged itself for something. The kind of uh, the kind you can only tell if something. Uh, next one. Uh, never no mind. You win. I don't even want to appreciate part of that triple uh, trilobites failure. <laughs> anyway, I come here to sell lunches every day. My boyfriend works in the security room here at the prosecutor's office. Your boyfriend? See the security room over there? The glass wall booth? I sell my lunches and since I'm here, I drop in to see him. Since you're here anyway, I guess selling lunches is more important than romance. Yeah, I guess so. So to scientifically analyze the data available so far, you, Mr. Star, are a lunch vendor with an ulterior motive for coming here. Useful analysis. Not, thank you, science. You really helped us. Ah, <sighs> anyway. Did you have a bad experience with the prosecutor, Mr. Star? I sense some hostility? Hostility? Ha, <laughs> perhaps. Prosecutors are all alike, and the bigger they get, the worse they smell. Kind of like a ten old uh, clams of a chowder. What? I wonder if Mrs. Star was involved in some uh, sort of legal trouble in the past. That be sure to cause of food poisoning. Specifically, scientifically speaking, of course. I mean, now you're talking, uh, talking cough of queen, huh? I thought she was just a lunch vendor, but I'm not so sure. Well, she used to be something more important, obviously. So let's move on to the high prosecutor's office and see who was the guy that actually owns the car and got this very special trophy, apparently. 